Hello booktube, it's the History Fella channel, it's Ben here. I'm here today with a book review, which um, we're going to start in a minute. Um, but for, first of all I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me on this video. I hope everybody is well in there, everyone's families are doing well and all fit and healthy. Um, also, hopefully the weather is um, good with you, um, it's starting to improve here this week. Um, it's kind of been a bit grey the past weeks, but the um, the sun is eventually managing to find its way out. All right, um, before we get going, um, if you can make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way you don't miss out on any videos. And make sure you click on the um, the bell in the subscribe icon. Um, today's book review is going to be about. Um, smashing Hitler's guns, the Rangers, or the US Rangers at Point d'Oc, D-Day 1944, written by Stephen J. Zaloga, and it's published by Osprey Publishing, and that's priced at £25 or $35 US dollars, and it's about, um, it's a decent sized hardback and that's got about 367 pages. Um, I will leave a link to this book um, below the video um, if you've got any comments or maybe you've even read the book um, or certainly the subject matter you can feel free to leave any comments below this video. They'll be all read and all replied to and much appreciated. <coughs> Right, this book, um, I finished it last week, um, took me probably two or three days to um, finish all together. But basically it's um, Pointe d'Arc, um, it's based in Normandy along the coast there. And basically what the Germans were trying to do was um, sort of from Norway right down to the southern France and through into... Um, or eventually into Spain and Portugal who were trying to build a, a, seat, a, a defensive wall um, to protect themselves from the navy or the sea any um, any big ships that come coming close or if, it, if there was a threat of invasion nearby and what they were doing was placing these big batteries dotted along the coastline with um, sort of 18 inch guns you know aimed out to sea so basically um they, they were building this big battery of guns at um, Point d'Arc and um their aim was or they thought right we're gonna this is against any sort of sea invasion but what they had planned on was it was going to be shipping um, type invasion. What they hadn't planned was for small units of men, which is where the US Rangers come in. Uh, they come in, in under the cover of darkness at the bottom of the cliffs and these new types of um, soldiers would scale up the cliffs and um, place um, bombs and uh, attack from that direction. Whereas um, when they were building their bases, they were kind of thinking, well, we'll protect ourselves from inland in case, you know, um, soldiers or units were coming from inland rather than from the sea. They thought the big batteries would cover them. Um, the book um, is a very good book. It's um, Stephen Zaloga is um, a, a really good uh, military historian, um, knows his stuff, um, it's well written and it's um, divided up into about, I think it was 19 chapters it was, um, you've got the chapters on the guns, um, on spying missions, uh, softening up um, <coughs> the US um, Air Force and the UK Air Force with um, do bombing raids over the um, 
over the coast of France, so um, they were kind of softened up a little bit, and then the US Rangers would then go in on nighttime missions to plant various weapons. Um, it's a really good book, like I said, it's very well researched. Um, I would say if there's only if there was a slight downside to the book, um, there's a lot of background information, and I probably would have preferred to find out more about um, the actual missions that went on and involved the um, gunner, gunnery emplacements. So I mean, or like the um, the various air raids on the site. It kind of it was it very much went into the technical detail in the background, which kind of I found let the book down a little bit, and would have been better off concentrating on the um, the U.S. Rangers and their kind of activities more more about that. But other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. Would I recommend it? I certainly would. Um, it is a good read, um, and certainly. If you're if you're into um, World War your World War Two military history, or you like the U.S. Rangers, then it's probably a book for you. Um, I'd probably give it a four and a half out of five, and that's Smashing Hitler's Guns, The Rangers at Pointe d'Arc, D-Day 1944, written by Stephen J. Zaloga, and that's published by Osprey Publishing. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Um, I shall be back in the next couple of days with some more book stuff. So make sure you subscribe and then it'll come up and notify you. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all stay well. I shall see you very soon.